This is going to be Aunt Sally's Folly, Act 1, Scene 1, with Amanda Petty as Miss Petty, Andra as Aunt Sally, and I will be the student. Good morning, students. I'm sure as you came into class today, you noticed that we have a math problem on the board. Today, we're going to have a special guest to help us work this math problem. Her name is Aunt Sally. Hi, students. How are you today? Aunt Sally will be working this with us today, and we do encourage class participation. So if there's anything that you would like to add, please politely raise your hand and wait until you're called on. Aunt Sally, go right ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, class, we have 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 4 times 4 minus 12 divided by 2. You add 10 and 4 together, and you have 14 times 4 minus 12 divided by 2. 14 times 4 is 56 minus 12 divided by 2. You have 44 divided by 2, and your answer is 22. This is going to be scene two, act one of Aunt Sally's Folly. Students, pardon my dear Aunt Sally. I think she has forgotten her order of operations. Let's see if the students have some advice for us. Ooh, Miss Patty, I do. I got a suggestion. William, what is your suggestion for Aunt Sally? That she needs to use order of operations. Can you help us out with that? I don't know if Aunt Sally knows what we mean when we say order of operations. I believe in national peace. Why don't you use my marker oh, and work that problem for us correctly? Right. Okay, here we go. Now, Aunt Sally, what you're going to do is use parentheses first. So you're going to do 4 times 4 is equal to 16. And you come down to 7 plus 3 plus 16. Minus 12 divided by 6. You're going to take 12 and divide by 6. You're going to get 2 minus 16 plus 3 plus 7. This will give you 14. It's not 6. It's 12 divided by 2. See, the teacher had a great job. I'm so sorry. That's all right. But so this will be 6. And this will be 10. This will be 3. 13. This will be 10 plus 3 is 13. This is it. It's 12. Whereas Aunt Sally got 22. Now it's very important to do your order of operations because on Miss Teddy's test, if you do not do your order of operations and write her a little note with a little smile on face, she still won't favor you. Well, I tell you what, William. Is there anything that we can work on to help us remember what order to do our math in. There are a lot of different processes here. Multiplication, division, subtraction, addition. How can we know what to do first? Aha, I got it. We can use HLV. All right. Let's erase this. And you can show us how that works. Because I'm sure you have very interesting ideas. You're welcome. We're going to do pardon my dear Aunt Sally, which consists of P, parentheses, multiplication. Which will be subtraction. Now, William, do we always do multiplication before?
where we do our division in our problem? Only if it's from left to right. Oh, so you work the multiplication and division first, but in the order they come in the problem. Yes. Excellent. And what about addition and subtraction? I believe addition is always first. Do I wrong? Mm -hmm. Well, addition and subtraction, the rules for that, follow the same rules as the multiplication and division. Oh. So, what would we do? We would go in the order they come in the problem. Reading it from left to right, just like you would in your literacy book. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk with Aunt Sally again and see what she thinks about this idea of yours. Oh, okay. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aunt Sally, would you like to come back up here and look at this problem again? Well, I see what you're, you're saying here to follow you know, your order of operations. I'm not sure I like the pardon me part, but mm -hmm. I'll forgive you on this one. Well, I hope you're flattered that our students decided to use your name to help them remember how to do their order of operations. Oh, anything to help the kids. Anything. That's what I expected. She is so precious. That's why this is truly my dear Aunt Sally. I hope this helps you remember how to do order of operations to come to the correct answer in a multi-step math process. <laughs> this is a Henderson State University project for instructional technology taught by Miss Brandy Benton. The script was by Amanda Petty and Will Watson, which is me and her. Andra did the storyboard all by herself. I was also the cameraman. She was also the camerawoman. She also played the part of Aunt Sally, and I was the rambunctious student. Okay, do you think? There you go. And she was Miss Penny. And she looked all bitter. <laughs> and now we will tell you about our objectives and our frameworks that we've decided to do this lesson over. The objective was after viewing the instructional video, students should be able to demonstrate correct use of order of operations to answer multi step math problems with a 70%. Or greater accuracy. The framework that we chose was standard two properties of number operations. Students shall understand meaning of operations and how they relate to one another. Number 2.6.4 apply rules and conventions for order of operations to whole numbers with and without parentheses. This has been a pleasure making this video of both of y'all. Hopefully, Ms. Benton will enjoy it.